let's go out front. And good evening, I'm Erin Burnett. And out front tonight, we begin with the breaking news. Polls just closing in Georgia. And it was $31 million in ads in Georgia, $7.1 million more than Trump. All in, it's an incredibly huge amount of money in these final days where every vote will matter. I mean, you're in Buckhead, neighborhood outside Atlanta, which has traditionally been a conservative area. And here's what our producers and reporters saw today, is that abortion and immigration were some of the key issues that had people coming out, could go either way. Here is what one voter told our Nick Valencia. Tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris intensifying her attacks on Trump as she makes a major play for Michigan's black voters just three weeks into Election Day. Just moments ago, Harris wrapping up a radio. Trump, of course, has said that he does not support Project 2025, although uh, some who worked for him are very senior in its planning. Out front now, Sherman Hughes, Wisconsin radio host. Uh, lucid, comfortable, Kamala Harris that could win the White House. Uh, I know I know you, you, don't, you don't want her to win the White House, but do you agree with how she performed in that interview? I, I believe that interview was a, uh, you listened to Kamala Harris talk about a plan for black America committed to these plans for black men in particular. She's had many instances of interview talking mm -hmm. about a multi-trillion dollar plan for reparations, all while we ignore the fact that California has already studied. So Sherwin, Charlemagne asked uh, Harris about something that, well, I mean, Joe, I mean, if you're honest with yourself, I'm sure there's some times where you would appreciate if your candidate would uh, be more quote unquote scripted. <laughs> Look, I, I, I think there's a few things happening here, right? I, I've said it many times on this network, uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, he wants to hand school choice, and you have the gatekeeper for a large proficient levels all across this country. And so it is a scourge that is preventing black men from getting the people who are mm -hmm. saying Democrats have told us that Donald Trump is terrible, but I he did have a record low for black yeah, women. Yeah, I, I would just ahead, simply Joe. say that to that point, right? I, I think we have to dispense with some of November. 4th. All right, Joe, you get the last word because Sherwin has the first, but I hope that you will both be back for another conversation very soon uh, in these final days. So appreciate both of you. And next, Geraldo Rivera, longtime friend and supporter of Donald Trump. But tonight, he is backing Harris. And Geraldo is live next. Plus, as two giant pandas arrive in Washington, our David Culver will take you on an exclusive journey. This is incredible. This is when you say this job can be amazing, seeing pandas in the wild. And as part of his journey, we're going to show you the lengths David had to go to. Tonight, Governor Tim Walz cheering on the U.S. oil industry. America. But as our K-File reports tonight, this is a very sharp turn from where Harris once stood on this issue not so very long ago. And K-File's Andrew Kaczynski is out front pounding the table for the U.S. oil industry mm -hmm. and oil production, um, but not the way it always was. What did you find? Yeah, that's right, Aaron. And this really shows uh, sort of just how far left that Kamala Harris got in that 2019 Democratic primary when she was running with Bernie's of climate change. Uh, but they hit it from the public now. We saw there. Fast forward to 2024. What are her here? But that was not the only time she made. Obviously, that is extremely different uh, mm -hmm. than what she is presenting right now. But this isn't the only thing that she's flipped on that you found and you found a lot of other inconsistencies. Yeah, she's flipped. You take a look at just a few of them. She said she was going to pain, which were touting her shows that climate change rankers uh, in that poll. And obviously, Pennsylvania, where we're seeing a lot of the fracking stuff is a very important state. Right, right. And Josh Shapiro, uh, the Democratic governor, has charted a very moderate path on that issue and, and, and been very supportive of the thing that many progressives had, had disliked there. All right. Thank you so much, Andrew Kaczynski of K-File. So let's go now out front to Mayor John Giles of Mesa, Arizona. He is a Republican, but he is supporting Tonight, CNN gets exclusive access to pandas. And two giant pandas from China arrived in Washington, D.C. today, which, you know, is important. It's an important moment in U.S.-China relations. It matters a lot to China. CNN's David Culver was the only American reporter to actually witness the send-off and preparations firsthand and to visit their habitat. But that required David to both dress and smell the part. It really does. And it, it does matter while there is that, that level of kind of cuteness to it. It matters so much. Well, David Culver, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thanks to all of you, as always, for being with us. Anderson starts now.